everyone and welcome back to the channel today we are diving into the world of commission-free stock trading with a platform called Moomoo. Now you might have heard this name thrown around a lot lately, but is it really all it's cracked up to be? We'll be going through several in-depth reviews to find out exactly what Moomoo has to offer and who it might be the perfect fit for. Sean here with The Modest Wallet where we make money simple. So first things first, Moomoo is an online brokerage firm and it was founded in Silicon Valley, California in 2018. They're actually a subsidiary of Futu Holdings Limited, which is a NASDAQ listed company backed by pretty big names like Tencent, Sequoia Capital, and Matrix Partners. And what that means is that they come from a pretty big pedigree of really financial expertise. And you should find that reassuring when you're, you know, trusting a company with your hard earned money. So what exactly sets Moomoo apart from all the other competitors? For starters, they offer commission free trading on US stocks, ETFs, and even options contracts, which is definitely pretty rare these days. That means you, that you can basically buy and sell these investments without any fees eating into your profits. And then on top of that, Moomoo boasts extended hours trading so you can catch those early mornings or late night market moves. Pretty sweet, right? But what if you're looking to really just invest maybe a little more global? Well, Moomoo actually has you covered there too. This is because they provide access to trade Hong Kong and Chinese stocks which is gonna open up a whole new world of investing opportunities. Now, when it comes to the fees, Moomoo keeps them pretty straightforward. We already mentioned the commission-free stock and ETF trades, but they also charge low margin rates. And if you're unfamiliar, margin rates are what you pay when you're gonna borrow money from your broker to invest. So the lower the rate, the better. And also for those new investors out there, Moomoo even offers some educational resources to help you just sort of get your foot, you know, in the world of stock trading. With that said, there are a few things to consider before you just going to jump all in on Moomoo. And for one of those things, uh, some reviewers say that the platform's interface can be a bit more complex and overwhelming, especially for beginner investors. So with that said, if you're just starting out, Moomoo may not be the most intuitive platform, for you to be able to navigate. And when it comes to customer service, reviews seem to be, you know, sort of a mixed bag. So definitely keep that in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is that Moomoo doesn't offer the widest range of investment options. So for example, you won't find, you know, mutual funds or fixed income investments on their platform. And if you're a buy and hold investor, you might wanna maybe look elsewhere since Moomoo lacks certain account types that are going to more cater to that style of investing. And then finally, while Moomoo does allow deposits and withdrawals through bank transfers, they do charge wire transfer fees. So definitely be sure to sort of just factor that into your decision making. I'll dive deeper into those fees in a second, but let's just sort of get back to what Moomoo offers. Some of the features Moomoo is known for are their commission-free trades, their margin trading, their paper trading, level two market data, advanced charting, customizable analysis, custom portfolios, extended trading hours, and a global investment community. So I know that's a lot to unpack and depending on your investing style, some of these features might be more important than others. We'll definitely be breaking these down throughout the video, so make sure you're sticking around. I always find that fees and you know those charges are what people really pay attention to because fees are a major consideration for really any investor. With that said, there are no fees to deposit money into your Moomoo account via ACH transfer, but wire transfers can incur a slight fee depending on whether it's your first deposit, the amount of money you're depositing, and whether the transfer is gonna be domestic or whether it's international. And the same goes for withdrawals. There are no fees to withdraw money via ACH transfer, but wire transfers will cost you. Let's just do a quick breakdown of the specific fees that you might encounter with Moomoo. So the domestic wire deposit fee, unless it's your first deposit or it's over $25,000, is gonna be $8. The international wire deposit fee, unless it's first your first deposit or 
it's over $25,000 is $25. A domestic wire withdrawal fee is $25. An international wire withdrawal fee is $45. So depending on how you plan to fund your account and how you are going to withdraw your money, these fees could be a factor in your decision. All right, so that should give you a pretty good idea of what Moomoo has to offer and what to consider before you're gonna maybe open up an account. So in the coming parts of this video, we'll be diving deeper into each of these features, looking at what makes Moomoo a great option for some investors. So without any further, let's actually go inside and see what Moomoo looks like itself. All right, so before I take you in the app, I just wanted to quickly show you what I'm seeing on my screen. I did just sign up for Moomoo, and as I'm looking here, they are clearly wanting you to deposit $1,000 into your account and if you do there is a pretty nice reward there you can see you get 15 free stocks potentially valued up to two thousand dollars so definitely if you are looking to maximize your earnings probably a good idea there's some perks to this we'll get into here in a second but i just wanted to share that and then also you see transfer and get one and a half percent cash reward match up to 300 percent so Definitely offering some decent deals for you as you are thinking about opening up an account. Now, here's the Moomoo Moo app. You can see down here on the bottom, I clicked it. And I'm not gonna spend a ton of time in this app, but I wanted to just give you a brief overview of what it looks like. Similar to all the other investing apps that we've reviewed in the past, I have to say. But first thing on the screen, as you see there on the bottom, that little list on the bottom, are the watch lists, so obviously, whatever stocks you are interested in following, you would wanna make sure you put it and you'd favorite it so that you can see it in your watch list. Pretty self-explanatory. We are after hours, so there are, things aren't changing right now, but obviously they would change, it would be a live watch list, so you'd see things change. As you can see, Bitcoin's moving a little bit since that's not on a after hours, it's all one all the time. So, and then if I go to markets, obviously I'm gonna then see the different markets. I'll just scroll down. Crypto bonds, Forex commodities, index futures, global indices. And you can obviously scroll over US options, ETF, crypto, Forex. Okay, so you can kind of see it in different format. Pretty self explanatory there as well. Now, here's the account section. This is where you will or you would be doing your buying, selling of your stocks. You can see here I have not funded the account yet. So, there's not a whole lot to see there, but that would be where you would be doing most of that. Going next to the news, and this is pretty self-explanatory as well, but you can see there's pretty up-to-date 16 hours from Benzinga, Market Watch. This is where you're gonna find the most up-to-date news. It looks like you can follow the latest, the headlines, the watch list, the earnings reports. So pretty um, convenient there, having that at the top. You also have the search option so that you can search any of the stocks see what news is out there the discover section this is pretty much their social media portion of their site uh, this is going to be where you can get involved in chats if i clicked on moo it's going to kind of show you the feeds that they have and you can kind of get in some different groups follow different users that type of thing so definitely their social media area that they're trying to push you can see the learn this is where i talked to earlier in the review uh, that you can learn about different things part of the stock market there's an area for paper trading so if you are not sure about actually using your own money maybe you're new to investing and you want to kind of just feel it out first you can see here that there is an option for you to paper trade so you're not actually using real money and um you know if i hit go net assets oh wow i have a million dollars to work with and so you can go ahead and you know buy stocks buy etfs whatever you want to do practice before you're actually going to get in there so for example if i wanted to buy apple let's just do it i don't know how this is going to work after hour or after hours it's not going to be tracking anything there's my apple and um, i want to buy so how many shares do i want to buy i'm confused there um pretend i want to buy so i could choose to buy 219 shares of apple i'm not going to do that though but obviously you're gonna have to mess around with it a little more, but this would give you an opportunity to sort of see what it's like to actually buy stocks before you actually do it. And then last but not least is this me section. You can see you can invite friends. There's a task center. 
that's going to help you to complete tasks. Obviously, you, you see here, there's a lot of things that I'm noticing with this app that I'm not fond of. There's a lot of boxes that just pop up and kind of, kind of feels a little gimmicky. Um, I want you to earn these points by using their platform. And I saw that you can earn prizes. I'll show you that in a second. If you earn these points by doing the task that they give you. So there are a couple things here. And this is just the area of the task center where you can learn how to, you know, earn those points. If that is something that you want to do, I think you can get merch when you reach a certain point. Yep. You can redeem points. We only have 20, but as you can see here, if you earn 30,000 points, you can get this stuffed animal. You can get this shirt, figurine. If you want to get one of these things for your kids, great. Doesn't really interest me. I just want to let you know, you can see the promotion here that they are offering. Once again, they're offering the 8.1 percent APY for you to remember deposit that thousand dollars into the account and you get those 15 free stocks with that qualified deposit deadline September 30th one thing I was reading about was the customer service let's just check this out real quickly there were some issues or some people complaining about the customer service I will say it's not too bad here nice and organized I don't have a, an account fully set up right now, so it's not gonna allow me to do that. Let's just try it for right now. If I wanted to get information or ask about the fee schedules, let's see what happens. Okay, so it's gonna give me, you know, view of different fees. And so we had already talked about fees, but here you're gonna be able to see it in a much more clean area. If I wanna look at my funds record, okay, there's the part where I don't have an account yet. Please open your account to continue. But as you can see also at the bottom, phone inquiry, online inquiry. So I'm not so sure that I would say, you know, customer service isn't great because there are some companies that you, there's no way to even find how to contact them. So the fact that they even have that, that your choice to talk on the phone or online is actually pretty nice. So I'm not going to um, talk negative about their customer service. That's it. That was just a quick overview of the app. Remember, you can use this on desktop as well. I think a lot of people prefer to just use the app, but you know, pretty easy to navigate. Not a huge fan of the different pop-ups that come up as you're navigating, but let's get back into the video. Hopefully you found that tutorial valuable. So who is Moomoo really built for? This platform really is gonna shine for those active traders who want a feature rich experience with commission free stocks, ETF and options trades. The extended hours trading margin rates and the advanced charting tools are all great perks for those who like to be, you know, just get into the weeds of the market. If you're looking to trade globally, having access to Hong Kong and Chinese stocks is a definite plus. And hey, the paper trading feature is a fantastic way to really test the waters before you risk real money. Definitely recommend that, especially for any of you young investors out there. Now, with all that said, if you're a beginner investor or someone who prefers a more, you know, simple, user-friendly platform, Moomoo might be, you know, a bit overwhelming for you. The lack of mutual funds and fixed income options might also be a turnoff for some. Customer service reviews are also a mixed bag, so keep that in mind as well. And I just wanna make sure I reiterate those wire transfer fees can add up if you plan on moving money in and out of your account, and if you do that frequently. Is Moomoo the right fit for you? That is going to really just depend on your investment goals and really just your experience level. If you're a seasoned trader looking for a powerful platform with low fees, then Moomoo is definitely worth considering. But if you're a beginner or someone who is gonna prioritize, like you said, that user-friendly experience, you might want to explore you know other brokerages before making a decision on Moomoo. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions about Moomoo or really any other investing platform, feel free to definitely drop us a comment below. I'll definitely be happy to help. If you did find this video helpful, go ahead and like it. It does help us out with that YouTube algorithm. And if you aren't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. It really does help this community grow, which is what we want to do. And so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.